Life for Solima Khatun and her family has been precarious enough since escaping the military crackdown against the Rohingya in Myanmar eight months ago. Their makeshift shelter is perched on a hilltop in the Kutupalang refugee camp in Bangladesh, but the daily struggle to survive is expected to become even harder in the weeks and months ahead for Salima and hundreds of thousands of refugees like her, because cyclone season is starting. We are afraid of the wind. Sometimes it takes out our pollens and there might be landslides, but we don't have anywhere else to go. There's a sense of urgency around the camp. The weather could change dramatically at any time. Thousands of tons of bamboo is being distributed to refugees so they can make their shelters stronger. Aid agencies are training them how to best secure what are often nothing more than tarpaulin and corrugated iron shacks. We are afraid of the wind and thunder during cyclones. They're teaching us about landslides and what we need to do. Heavy machinery has been brought into the camps to build roads. Its vital emergency services have access to anywhere in the camp in order to rescue victims of potential landslides or floods as quickly as possible. Men gather bricks to harden the road's surface, otherwise they will quickly turn to mud when heavy rain arrives. You can see how vulnerable and exposed these flimsy shelters are on these hillsides. Now over the next four months, we're expecting a cyclone and a monsoon season, where winds can often reach up to 100 kilometers an hour and there's gonna be lashing rain, which means places like these are potentially highly vulnerable to landslides. Aid agencies here say around 200,000 people need to be moved to safer ground. The Bangladesh government has allocated a large area specifically to house refugees who need to be moved. Shelters, schools, and health centers are due to be built here. Aid agencies say there are 25,000 people living in areas most vulnerable to landslides who need to be relocated immediately. They need to be moved to safer, flatter ground. That's what we're doing. We're moving and, and working as fast as we can with heavy machines, with people, so that these families can live somewhere where they've got access to food, public health services, and that they're safe and that they're comfortable and that they're not at risk um, from any further disasters. In the late afternoon, the weather suddenly changes for the worse. The wind kicks up dust clouds across the camp. Refugees run for cover or rush to try and secure the tarpaulins that are ripped from roofs. Hundreds of thousands of men, women and children face their greatest challenge yet since fleeing for their lives from the Myanmar military crackdown. Charles Stratford, Al Jazeera, Kutupalong Refugee Camp, Bangladesh.